back on site. What's up, my people? Got the pinto hook on the busa so we can do some towing. What do we got here? Kamatsu PC 35 MR 5, the latest model of this 35. Got a tilt bucket WB, tilt bucket WB, quick connect, hydraulic quick connect, WB thumb. Got some new ski tracks on it. Real good shape unit here. Got this from my local Komatsu dealer. Came out of the New Hampshire branch out of uh, Manchester. Got to give a shout out to Keith up at Anderson Equipment up here in Albany. Anybody looking for some equipment used or new, get a hold of Keith. He is the salesman. All right. Nice little uh, access here door for the, you know, just your fuel filters. Uh, there's a fuel fuel oil fill yeah on the other side we got this hydraulic apartment we got our i'm just learning the machine as we go too so we got our hydraulic reservoir here to see if we're full this is our cool or uh that is coolant i don't know if that was windshield washer or coolant we got our battery our condensers now you might look back here and say wow that's real tight but this cab actually tips up and uh, i don't know how to do it yet because i don't have the manual but here is our coolant for our radiator here is our air cleaner come to this compartment here i put that chip in there the other day not happy gonna do some touch up the weather's nice here is our fuel here is oh this is windshield washer fluid so i was right windshield washer fluid grease tube fitting or grease gun uh here is your reservoir for your hydraulic fluid hydraulic filter down in there that is another little filter for hydraulic real tight nice unit simple really clean i love everything about it so far i didn't really dig with it i do have a two foot digging bucket as you saw earlier in the video uh but going to change the final drive fluids this does have all the see that it did come everybody listed it there but uh and in the monitor which we'll get to you could see what um the service records were also you know you could program them in but again you're buying a used piece you don't know if somebody reset that or not but i don't think so by the way they look but i always change the final drive because that is cheap insurance as soon as you get it no matter what the people write on the door or on the monitor um again here is oil filter down here so your filters are easy to get to again this cab lifts up i imagine with these four bolts here and then there's a little lever over here so this is a, a lock lever this is a cha changing pattern here um little lock lever right here you slide that when this cab opens up it hinges on this got to make sure the boom is down but yeah it is looking nice nice and nice Let's go inside oh look who's there door opens up like this instead of the sliding on the 88 that's a little better system i like how they got the glass is easy to replace a bolt there and take everything off nice flat panels not concave the 88 i blew out before and that was uh expensive let's just put it that way now all these 35s on all this class are all basically they try to you know keep the budget down for the for the consumer so it's not like uh 200 you know volvo or 200 kamatsu or whatever um they keep them basic but this machine is the dash five so they actually made it a little bit better there's a lot more cab room in here than because i've been testing these at you know auctions or wherever i see a 35 i jump in you do have full access with your foot pedal without hitting the glass, which is huge. Um, let's hop on in. Everything is nice and clean. There's my hydraulic quick connect. A lot of room in here. You're sitting in here nice. Now watch. You can just put these no problem. Now, I know Yamar, you're doing this. So these also flip up. Get out of your way. Um, the only thing that I wish it did have was proportional joystick here for the thumb. It is here and it is backwards for me, so I have to do some research on how to... I could obviously swap the line right there, but I'm going to go underneath this when I tip the cab up and swap it there. A little bit cleaner. Let's fire it up. Monitor's nice. I had to turn the radio off. Don't want to get demonetized. All right, so... 
cold just uh, 18 degrees this morning but what's really nice about this cab is it's big a it's got these nice hand rests everything's perfectly right here now that like I was complaining about the proportional joystick obviously that adds value and all that so that's why they try to keep these machines in budget but the skinny joysticks I love better that's how my come up uh, Cabelco is uh, nice sunroof so when this boom is up you could see perfect here you're not looking bending forward it's right at vision good light package with it um, I do like this the way this is uh, designed these handles here it's so simple just two of them one on each side and this door comes up so smooth and again Komatsu's cabs are you know state-of-the-art best in class by far on any size machine they're super quiet you know got a suspension seat uh, shut off here for emergencies in here we got the fuse panel you can put uh, some your notes in here in the back of the seats for the manual Here's some uh, pin and lock pin or whatever that's too. But yeah, pretty basic, pretty nice. Your normal pull down lever. Pretty happy. All right, I just checked the oil because before we tracked, I'm not gonna change it because it looks good. Really clean uh, for final drive oil. You know what I mean? That's usually that's black, black. It smells when it's uh, bad. But uh, I hate, look how little these are, how these, uh, it's so easy to strip out or break, and I'm worried about these, so I'm just going to crack these loose just to make sure they're going to be okay for the future. Here's the other side. Just always make sure they're full because you don't want to see oil's coming out. Get a little, little come out, see what she looks like. Because if she was drier, she's got metal in there. Yeah, that looks good. It smells good. So it's a pretty cool system, different anyways. It's got these, uh, and that's what's rubbing here, making that paint fall off. I, I was like, what the hell's doing that? But uh, those things hang, so I'll probably have to make a hanger for those. But that's how you do these quick connects. So there's always, there's gaskets on them. They always stay clean. And you don't really have to fight them because they screw in. You can screw them with wrenches and then this goes back on your thing and it's got a little O-ring on it. Keeps everything clean and neat. I've never seen those before. And he's tightened that up. And a little O-ring there, and it's done. It's gonna be nice with the hydraulic quick connect. Simple, you just hold the button. A couple seconds, you hear the beep. Unlock it. You see it unlock, she's good to go. She'll stay beeped like that when she is open I'm trying to set this so I don't hurt that fitting right there on the hydraulic kick, quick connect the, the tilt buckets love to uh, fall backwards so you got to lean them up against something put this one on same reverse scenario you just lock it like so and you should hear it or see it clunk if it's not lined up it'll clunk in i think we're good yep and always test it you know like that before you start digging because then next thing you know it's on someone's head god forbid but uh yeah everything work is working as is you see how quiet this cab is no rattling the door is really nice now i can really show you how that door works so here you just press this and pull it to you see how smooth it is and then she shuts such a same way. Super nice. Now you see what I'm saying out that glass door? How you were a window up on top, the sunroof? You can see perfect the bucket. No problem. You don't have to chip your head or nothing. I'm going to say this thing's pretty quick, though, for the Mini um, from everyone that I've used. And the telemetry on the boom is a lot different than my 88, which I'm really liking this one. Uh, so it's a lot easier. The timing's easier to grade because...
it would just be disrespectful if we didn't use Komatsu grease in the Komatsu, right? Oh yeah, I'm excited. Everything took grease. Every pin, even the hard ones that you say, oh, this ain't gonna take, it did. But one thing I gotta give Komatsu a shout out about is right here, swing circle, swing pinion. They should have this on all big machines too. Okay, here's two ports. One's gonna go down to that circle right there, which usually they have the ports in there and they're a pain to get to. But this one right here, swing pinion, that's inside your gear on the pinion where normally you have to open up in the center of the housing. There's a plate going there and by the valve bodies, uh, by the swing motor. Open that up and pack grease all in that halo under the swing pinion. But, but that is a hot setup, so shout out to Komatsu. Now that is the hot setup for mobilizing around the site. That's gonna work nice for me to get back and forth over to my other property over there instead of tracking this mini down the road half a mile all the way, every time I could just tug it with this. Good to go. better than I thought the boost of towing let's get this off the trailer we're across the street as you've seen right bordering my property that I just bought we're gonna just go in there and mess around fix a couple things that I want to fix um, one thing I did was with the machine just right now is I reversed those lines for the thumb so that's gonna work for me better it was just opposite and very awkward and being a foot pedal it's almost impossible I don't know why whoever had it before me set it up like that but it wasn't like that probably from factory because my Cabelco isn't like that but here we are we're gonna take our journey into the woods we're gonna lower this boom all the way down and get under these trees and head on in hopefully you got a nice good view out that window and you can hear me well I know you probably can because this cab is quiet. 
we're gonna set up over here where we cross where it's really wet and um, just kind of trench that a little bit to get the water out of here the old farmer swale that goes into the creek I kind of did a little bit of things uh, by hand over the winter I went in and just cut back a little bit then we rode it back and forth with the quad to get the water to flow but it's still not flowing the way it should and this is where the road is gonna be going through so we'll have some culverts but there's a lot of ravines and and whatnot with this property which I showed in the beginning so if you missed the beginning video of this go back in and I show how the layout is of the land just knocking all these dead things off that are gonna be into the cab and um, so now we're on my property and basically where I'm sitting right now we're gonna be putting a road right down the property line so all these big trees gotta go just haven't really done much with the land yet because I just haven't figured out what I want to do with the trees I'm trying to find someone that could use them just because I hate to just to throw them out and pile them up here's a stump that I had that's showing I cut that tree down and we'll get into detail of where this water is going but right now we're just playing with the machine because we just bought it that's all. Let's get this stump out. Move this wood here. Stump being in a matter in the midst of the forest is, uh, you know, it's got all the other tree roots too, so it might be a little tough to get around. That's where a ripper comes in really handy. But again, all these trees are going to be coming down, so let me get the blade down here. No frost in the ground. February, what is it, 15th or something? Crazy. Crazy. Might be starting a project this week. I have a lot of projects signed up for the... Uh, spring, you know, six, seven houses already, and we got a uh, a lot of other work too that's lined up that could have, could have, should have, would have been done. I got hurt, as you guys know, and then things got thrown off, and then we were expecting deep frost, but nothing came. So, so far, I like the speed of this uh, Kamatsu, that's for sure quicker than my 88 I can tell you that I think the 88 needs a little bit of a tune-up but I'm not sure Let's see what we got here for this stump oh yeah she's a moving if she's moving she's willing to come out see when we get to the left we're gonna be into the tree roots to the right so it makes it kind of tough that's all gonna dig around it Throw that back in. Quiet in here, isn't it? <laughs> Super quiet for a mini. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Minnie's gonna be just fine. Minnie is gonna be just fine. Get the dirt off that stump. I mean, mainly I bought this for, so I can tow behind a pickup truck, hey, but to do septic systems and just because, you know, instead of moving the Kenworth and the 20 ton trailer every time you had to move the 88, now at least I can have two smaller machines on site and this one is a lot more mobile. I used to have the 121, as you know, Dash 3 Kubota, but that went back to the original owner. All right, let's get this feathered back in and over to those piles of trees that had fell down. it in nice and nice
on the left side on the foot. I don't know, and plus my foot's so dang big and it's kind of in between the, the, you know, the track pedal and all that. So well, maybe I can lift that up, I don't know. That's the only thing that you're gonna get used to. Uh, the swing's not the fastest. It is pretty quick like this, but once you get going rolling, it seems like right there, it's not fast. But, you know, for digging purposes, from there to there, it's the, the quick fast, the quick fast. But the, the full distance, I guess, isn't. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. But uh, other than that, yeah, man, this machine is stout for what it's meant for. And again, guys, there's a size machine for every project. You know, if I need something with a little more tail or power, you bring the 88. Then if you need a little more, you bring the 160. So this gives me three categories for machines and it also We'll pick up the slack a lot when I need another machine on the job, you know, just to, instead of mobilizing so much, it takes a lot out of you. See, right there, it seems pretty slow to me, but as far as waiting for it to come back, you know, but I'm sure it might be able to tweak that a little bit, you know what I mean? This piece right here, this tree was on my mother's property right here is the line on the, what I'm pulling out, but I'll clean both up anyways, obviously. One day, it will be transferred to me. Um, and that's that. I think I'm going to conclude this video. I got a job meeting I got to go do right now on a driveway and house site, so I think we're pretty good uh, shape here. Alright guys, catch you on the next one. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. That helps the channel uh, in the algorithm. And if you can, subscribe if you're not. Thanks, guys.